If an alien landed on, at SmackDown and asked, Take me to your leader, who would they bring it to? I'm Chris Roman, the Wrestling Vlog, who always tells it like it is. It seems like only yesterday that the wrestler formerly known as Magnus has taken over SmackDown for an overworked and underappreciated Adam Pearce. Since the pandemic, Pierce has been hopping between Raw and SmackDown trying, and mostly failing, to keep superstars in check. But the one superstar he was never able to keep in check was Roman Reigns. After he returned from an extended leave of absence that started just before WrestleMania, that almost wasn't, he immediately slipped his way into a Universal Championship match that was well underway and since then, he's been acting like he was in charge of SmackDown instead of Pierce. Now, we've seen factions and even individuals claiming to run the WWE or brand thereof. Hell, the Judgment Day are still saying that they run Raw even though they still follow Pierce's orders, to a point. I'm sure Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman secretly claimed to run the brand they were in, but even though Lesnar only wrestled six times a year and Pierce seemed to allow it, he did compete, albeit on major PLEs and the ones in Saudi Arabia. Would someone who runs the WWE even allow that to happen? But Roman Reigns, he's a different kettle of fish. Sure, he's been the guy in the WWE since not too soon after The Shield broke up, and he has spent a good amount of that time as a primary champ. For about 16 months, he was THE primary champ. Plus his insistence that everyone acknowledge him as the tribal chief and head of the table got him to thinking that since Adam Pearce was so weak-willed, he could get away with practically anything including a Lesnar-esque deal that basically held the WWE and Universal Championships hostage. So while the Bloodline, aka whatever Usos were around to do his bidding, was terrorizing the WWE roster, Reigns could just sit back and chill in Pensacola, Florida, thinking that no one can touch him and he can hold the title forever if he wants. All because Pierce couldn't do a damned thing about it. Ah, but Nick Aldis, he's different. He had been terrorizing TNA Impact Wrestling since 2008, winning their world title once and their tag titles twice. He came back twice to meddle with things before the WWE finally snagged him away in August 2023 as a producer. Two months later, he's general manager of SmackDown. And... Roman Reigns still thought he could get away with the his way with the newbie, and to a point he still thinks so. First, when Aldis made a triple threat to decide who would be number one contender for Roman's title, Roman pulled him aside and essentially said, I didn't tell you to do that. And Aldis said, You're right, but I did it anyway. Deal with it. So, Roman dealt with it by disrupting said triple threat. After all, no winner, no number one contender, or Roman gets Royal Rumble off, right? <laughs> yeah. He obviously never watched SmackDown or Raw in his off hours. When a champ disrupts a match to decide their challenger, then all participants in said match become the challengers. And as such, Aldis ordered a fatal four-way betwixt Reigns, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and LA Knight at Royal Rumble. And boy, was Roman pissed. So pissed, in fact, that he didn't show up the following week, allowing the Bloodline to wreck an undercard match, calling Aldous a villain for allowing the four-way to happen, and all but promising further interruptions. Now, even though the challengers, begrudgingly, mind you, put aside their differences to demolish the Bloodline last Friday, Jimmy and Solo Uso should be back, and I'm sure Roman has them on call to attack the challengers during the contract signing. But what will Aldis do if that does happen? Find the bloodline? 
bar them from Tropicana Field during the title match? Put them under house arrest in their hotel room in Tampa? Or will he finally take off the sport coat and show Roman what a 37-year-old former champion and former Oblivion from the British version of American Gladiators can do? I can see that happening. More than I can see Adam Pearce getting back in the ring. Aldous has only been out of the ring for a few months. A few days at the Performance Center to get back into fighting shape and shake off the rust. And it'll be Roman who would be wondering what he hath wrought upon his family. Come on, Nick. Make the call. Tell Roman you'll fight him mano a mano, and if you lose, you'll give up your GM role. But if you win, Roman will have to fight whenever and wherever you see fit. You know, better still put a no DQ step on it. You look like the kind of guy who could go all Mick Foley on someone who deserves it. It'll take more than monetary penalties to make Roman Reigns stop believing he's in charge. And if Nick Aldis must, I think he will have to beat that delusion out of him. Literally. I'm Chris Wolf of the Wrestling Vlog who always tells it like it is. Pray for peace, and I'll see you.